Good morning, Tehmina Khan is here. Today I will explain to you the concept of trigonometric equations, how to solve them. It is a syllabus of O level ad maths. And on the top you can see the blog address I have mentioned. So far the videos I have uploaded, you will find the link of those videos on this blog. Right. So let's see when we are solving the trigonometric equation. Actually there are few, um, I would not say types, but yes, uh, they are not classified exactly. But if you identify those um, types of equations, trigonometric equations, it will be easy for you to handle them. So number one are these, for example, cos x equals to a ratio is written here, right? Or sin x or tan x. So ratio, this is simple. So first of all, I'm talking about the uh, types, you can say, and then I will go into the uh, explanation of it, how to solve it. So these are simple types. And then the trigonometric equation where you have to apply identity and then you have to factorize it. For example, cos square x plus cos x equals to sin square x. Now if you see in this equation, we have two trigonometric equation. So uh, I mean functions, trigonometric cos is here, sin is here. So when we are solving trigonometric equations, we need to change them into single trigonometric function. For example, here we have only cos x. Okay, so how we will solve it, I'll tell you. Now there are types when you have to take common factor out. For example, 4 sin x cos x equals to cos x. So how to take common factor out, I will discuss those. Then there are cases where you just have to apply identity. Such case, 5 cos x plus 2 sin x equals to 0. Then there are cases when you have to change the range. If you notice, in all my above example, I have only angle x. There is nothing, nothing multiplying with x, right? Nothing adding with x. Whereas if you see these two examples, instead of x, I have 2x. Here I have 2x minus 40. So my angle is not just x. It is multiplica multiplying by number and subtracting also. Similarly here, so how to handle these type of cases and then there are trigonometric functions which are in modulus Right, so how to handle those now the answer of x which is basically angle could be asked in radian or in degree So we will see both type of cases. So let's see how to handle these all examples and then after that I will um, take example from past paper so it depends how long this video take to explain. If it will go more than 13-14 minutes, then I'll explain past paper questions in the next video. So I'm starting here with the first simple case, uh, which was cos x equals to minus 0.71. Suppose the range within which I have to give answer of angle is from 0 to 360 degree. So it is basically anti-clockwise movement, right? from positive x axis it will start and will go all the way till here okay this x is always referred to general angle so we have to find out that between 0 to 360 degree how many angles for cos will give me this answer this is the meaning of the question right if you will use calculator for cos inverse 0 0.71 you will get only one answer Whereas in 0 to 360, there are two such answers. How? And we will see now. Okay. So the method is, first of all, you find out what is the basic angle for uh, cos inverse 0 0.71. Can you notice I did not write here minus, right? Because the sign here plus or minus only helps you to identify the quadrant. For example, if I see there is an angle, cos of that angle give me negative answer. And from ASTC, I know that in the second quadrant and fourth quadrant, cos give me negative answer. So I know this angle, general angle is, one is um, the angle between 90 and 180 degree. Another is in between 180 degree and 270 degree. Right. So without doing, without solving, without using calculator, just by looking at the question, I know two informations. And that is that one of my angle will be between 90 and 180 because it is in the second quadrant. And the third quadrant is between 180 and 270. 
and how do i know this because of this negative sign so cos is negative in second and fourth quadrant i have explained that all in my previous video okay so my whole purpose will be here to find out the basic angle first of all because then it will be easy for me to find the general angle so after finding out the quadrant with the help of this negative sign now i'm finding out the basic angle which is 44.8 so i have mentioned here 44.8 so one of my general angle will be this which is 180 minus 44.8 and other general angle will be 180 plus 44.8 can you notice so these are the two angles cos of these angle if you put in the calculator will give you this answer so you can try cos 135.2 and try cos 224.8 and check you will get this answer so this is a simple case so the next case we were talking about or i gave an example of the one which where you have to apply identity and then factorize so look at this question there are two trigonometric functions sine and cos and the range within which i have to give answer is minus 180 to 180 degree okay so what i am doing instead of sine square x i am applying the identity 1 minus cos square x right and then i am taking these term to this side it will become a quadratic equation in terms of cos x so i will apply uh, middle term breakup factorization method so it this will become 2 cos x minus cos x and then I am factorizing it and you know this is a prerequisite knowledge you need to know how to factorize and how to make um, take common factors so after that my one angle will be cos x equals to minus 1 and other angle will be cos x equals to 1 over 2 right so then now for cos x equals to minus 1 you need to recall um, the sketch of cos right so you can visualize it you can roughly sketch it on your paper if you cannot do it mentally so cos of minus 1 uh, cos inverse minus 1 come at the angle of 180 degree so my x is 180 degree whenever you have answer of any angle for cos sine tan 0 or minus 1 you don't need to solve it you just need to uh, recall the graph right because you have exact answer from there so it save your time also so i know from a sketch that minus 1 of cos um, comes at 180 degree so one of my answer is x 180 degree okay so this is degree okay so the other was cos x equals to half now for this i will use the method of astc okay so this is plus it means angle lies in the first and which quadrant fourth quadrant right because cos is positive in first and fourth quadrant only okay so after identifying the quadrant now i need to find out the basic angle so for basic angle i am doing cos inverse half which is 60 degree it means 60 i'm mentioning here right the range within which i have to answer is from minus 180 to 180 so it means i will take from 0 to 180 and 0 to minus 180 so my one answer will be this 60 and till i go here i will not see another basic angle and the other answer will be minus 60 because it is clockwise so my two general answers are 60 and minus 60 and the other was 180 degree so now if you substitute these answers in your original equation you will see the answer is same so let's take the third case where we take out a common factor right and i took this example and the range I have taken for answer is 0 to 360 degree. Now mostly students, what do they do? They take this cos x down here like this. Okay. And then they cancel it out. And they get 4 sin x equals to 1. And sin x equals to 1 over 4. You can't do this. In this way, you eliminate one of the answer basically. Right. So 
and cos x could be zero you cannot divide um, a number by zero so you can't do this you have to take common factor out so what you will do you will take this cos x to this side okay i've taken it to this side and then what do you see common between these two term cos x right so you have taken cos x out and what is left from here 4 sin x minus 1 equals to 0 so when the product of two number is 0 we put each one equals to 0 it's a basic algebraic uh, concept now again i just told you um, if your angle is giving you answer 0 and 1 you need to visualize the graph so cos of cos graph give you zero answer at 90 degree and and 270 degree so two answers you get from here okay and because they are within the range so these are my answers now let's see this one 4 sin x minus 1 equals to 0 I'm getting it from here so sin x equals to half so now I will apply um, ASTC concept to find out the other angles so in which quadrant my answers of general angle lying yes you're right first and second because cos oh sorry sin is plus here okay so we got sin x equals to half and because it is plus here it is giving me an idea that or information rather that it is in the first and the second quadrant because a s sin is positive in these two quadrant so my first task will be to find out the basic angle which is 14.5 so I'm drawing basic angle in first and second quadrant 14.5 with the x-axis so my general answer or general angle will be this one and this one which is 180 minus 14.5 so my two answers are 14.5 and 165.5 okay I hope it makes sense now let's go to the fourth type where we just need to apply an identity and this time I am taking the range from minus 180 degree to 270 degree okay so it means 0 to minus 180 so when I will draw the line here I will go this way this is my one answer I mean rotation and 0 to 270 it means I will rotate all the way from here till here okay so coming back to the question we just need to apply identity so I am taking this term to this side it will become minus 4 cos x then I'm bringing it down like cross multiplication we usually call it and you know what happens at the background actually so sine x over cos x and this 2 is coming here so it is minus 5 over 2 so sine x over cos x equals to 10x minus 5 over 2 okay so I have applied identity and changed this question into single trigonometric function now what angle of 10 will give me negative answer so from ASTC, I know 10 is negative in the second and fourth quadrant. So this information I got because of this minus sign. Now I have to find out basic angle. So I will forget about this minus sign and I will just use 10 inverse 5 over 2. So basic angle is 68.2. Okay. So which I have mentioned here. So according to the range, which was, which was, um, 0 to minus 180 and 0 to 270 so I will go all the way from here till here okay 0 to 270 so when I go from 0 to 270 I stop here so one of my answer will be 180 minus 68.2 which I have mentioned here okay so when I'm going from 0 to 270 I got one answer from here now I will go from 0 to minus 180 it means from here till here so when I'm going from here, I meet the basic angle on the way. So my one, uh, I mean the other answer is minus 68.2 because it is clockwise. So this is my other answer. So this is how I get my two answers within the range minus 180 to 270. So now let's see the fifth um, case. Okay, so here I was talking about when we change the range of the angle and I told you that angle will not just be x it could be x x plus 10 2x things like that right so first of all cos 2x equals to 0 0.5 so this is giving me clear hint that i have to change the range okay the first thing should come in your mind change the range if it is not just x okay so in the question the range is given to you 0 to 180 
for x and I will change this x into 2x because it is in the question. So I am multiplying all of these by 2. So my range becomes 0 to 360. So now my general angle which I will find out will be for 2x basically and then I will divide it by 2 to get x. Let's see how. Okay, so after changing the range, the rest of the procedure will remain same. The answer here is plus. So is this giving me a hint that my general angle will be lying in the, in which quadrant? Yes, first and fourth, because cos is plus in the first and fourth quadrant. And now I will find out the basic angle. So I will do cos inverse 0 0.5. So my basic angle is 60 degree. I hope so far is clear. I have changed the range. I have identified the quadrants because of the sign here. And then I have found the basic angle. Okay, so after that I have to find general angle basically. So my 2x is equals to, now I am rotating from 0 to 360, which was the range given in the question. So when I am going from 0 to 360, my first general angle is 60 degree, which I have mentioned here. And my second general angle is 360 minus 60. And both of them are equals to 2x because the range 0 to 360 is for 2x. So after doing that, I will simply applying um, the algebra. Each degree will be divided by 2. So my final answer are 30 and 150. Let's see the last case. Uh, no, the same case with the range, change of range. Okay, so now the second example which I have taken is this. The moment I look at this, that cos angle is not just x, rather it is 2x minus 40, it will give me immediately the knowledge that I have to change the range. Okay, so in the question it is given 0 to 360. So first of all, I am doing stepwise, you can do directly also. So first of all, I am multiplying it by 2. So it will become 0, 2x, 720. Okay, and then I'm subtracting 40 from each. So 0 minus 40 is minus 40, 2x minus 40, 720 minus 40 is 680. Okay, so what does it mean? It means now my angle is from 0 to minus 40, the range which I will use. Okay, I will go from 0 to minus 40 and I will go from 0 to 680 which will be like this. Okay. Because it is two com not complete rotation, but it is two rotation. Okay, so now this was my question. So plus sign is here is telling me clear hint that uh, the angle general angle is lying in the first and fourth quadrant because cos is positive. And for the basic angle, I'm doing cos inverse zero point eight. I will not touch this anymore. It is my um, angle which helped me to change the range and now I will find angles later. So first of all I am finding out the basic angle exactly the way I have done before. So it is 36.9 so my one basic angle because um, it is in the first and fourth quadrant so I am showing here so it is 36.9 and the range we got if you remember the range was from 0 to minus 40. So if you see here, actually you have to check the range from 0 to minus 40. Minus 40 is supposed coming till here. But when you are coming from min 0 to minus 40, you meet the basic angle on the way. 36.9 in the fourth quadrant is here. So one of your answer will be minus 36.9. So if you write x is equal to minus 36.9, is it okay? It's not okay. Do you know why it is not okay? Yes, because it is not equals to x. It is equals to 2x minus 40. Right? So let's find out the other angles first. This is about fourth quadrant. We know that cos is plus, so it is in the first quadrant as well. Here also. Okay? 